Hi, my name is Joe, and this is a quick overview of the installation of Linux Mint 15 using the uh, Mate desktop. Linux Mint, if you're not familiar with it, is probably one of the most popular uh, distributions of Linux at the moment. The reason being is that Linux Mint is targeted specifically at people who are new to the Linux environment. And lately, thanks to uh, <laughs> Windows 8, a lot of people have been trying Linux who never would have considered it before. As you can see, it boots very quickly. Here we are in the Linux Mint environment already. And uh, for an uh, uh, incoming Windows user, this should be very familiar. We have a nice little menu. It's organized into categories. This is all very, very simple. It even comes with a bunch of free software. Now we're going to go ahead and set it up. It's as easy as simply clicking on this Linux Mint icon. You may have heard in the past that other versions of Linux eh, are perhaps necessarily user-friendly. <laughs> He had to know a little bit in order to uh, set them up. But th this one is all menu-driven. As you can see, I simply click on different buttons and everything goes. Uh, in this case, since this uh, uh, computer is blank, I'll just go ahead and say Erase and Install. It is possible to set up Linux uh, Mint concurrently with another operating system. Say, for example, side-by-side -side as user. Or, I mean, what am I saying? Uh, with Windows. <laughs> uh, oh, here I'm just choosing the time zone. I'll go ahead and leave it on the default here for me, but you would choose whichever time zone is appropriate for you. That way it uh, calculates the time correctly. And here, we'll go ahead and just choose English as our default since I'm in the United States. Here, I'll just put Joe by default. Uh, it gives it a nice little name. Here, I'll pick a password. As you can see, it uh, advises me on what it thinks of the password that I've selected. And I'll go ahead and just leave it at the default, require the password for every login. If I wanted to, I could even encrypt my home folder if I was worried about security. Now, uh, Linux Mint will go ahead and copy the files that I need. Uh, you know, uh, this uh, tutorial, of course, assumes that you've already gotten to this point where you can uh, download the ISO and uh, boot it up. If you don't understand how to get to this point where you see me now, say, for example, you don't know how to make a bootable USB stick, here, I have a button on the screen, and I'll, I'll demonstrate to you how I do it. Uh, my demonstration uses the Zorin uh, distribution of Linux, but you'll be able to choose Linux Mint from the list and simply uh, install Linux Mint instead. As I said, if you want to uh, install the exact same one that you're seeing now, this is Linux Mint 15 using the Mate desktop. Okay, so uh, Linux Mint takes a moment to uh, install the files and uh, configure everything. And it's uh, showing how, you know, once everything's uh, set up, it already comes with Flash and Java and Firefox and uh, many of the uh, codecs that are used for things like uh, Hulu. Hulu is a very good example. But that was what initially turned me on to Mint. When I heard about it, um, I put it on the USB stick, I booted it up, I went to Hulu immediately and was able to watch TV right away. Uh, in the past, other versions of Linux had said, whoops, you don't have that codec, oops, you need to install this, oops, you have to install this. They were frustrating. And, you know, uh, at the time I was new to Linux, and I just didn't want to deal with it. Um, uh, now I, I have a little bit more experience, so I don't mind those things, but I understand that uh, people who are new to the Linux environment coming in from Windows would just find it aggravating. So Linux Mint does away with a lot of that by including those codecs here. So you should be able to uh, fire it up and immediately be listening to music, watching TV, and uh, getting all the fun out of uh, Linux that you should be able to. Uh, occasionally you'll run into Linux purists who will say, oh, that Linux Mint, you know, it's too simplified, blah, 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 blah. Well, uh, good for them, you know. <laughs> Some people just want computers to work. I mean, that, that's the big appeal of the Macintoshes. Um, I'm not really a Mac fan. I think they're vastly overpriced and they're they're just pcs like everything else never mind those commercials about i'm a mac i'm a pc well you're both running intel chips so ta-da you're both pcs because pc refers to x86 uh, compatible uh, systems and they both are you know well, macs in the old days used to have like motorola processors or ibm power pcs but uh, in both cases they had to abandon those platforms and join the x86 world with the rest of earth uh, so don't let them fool you. They're just very overpriced PCs. Now, they, they do have one benefit. They run off of a, a Unix-like platform. Uh, but if you want Unix, you could get FreeBSD. 
Uh, again, it's going to take a little bit more know-how to get it up and running, but it's doable. Linux gives you all those benefits of the uh, uh, Unix-like environment and, uh, you know, not having to worry about viruses and other garbage. But at the same time, Mint makes it very, very easy, as you saw here. Like I said, I just stick in the uh, USB key and the thing is ready to go. It only takes a few minutes to install. Now, the installation process, of course, will vary based on the uh, uh, hardware that you have in your computer, how fast it is, how powerful it is. And there are various different versions of uh, Linux Mint, uh, mostly that come with different interfaces or uh, applications. Um, like I said, this is Mate. There's also Cinnamon, you know, if you have really good graphics and you just want it to look really pretty. Uh, XFCE, if you maybe you have an older computer and you need a lighter desktop. And then KDE, which is the uh, standby that has worked great for years and a lot of people swear by it. And in fact, I have to admit, I'm becoming a KDE convert myself. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we're all done. So now it's just a matter of restarting. Okay, so now our computer is rebooting now that we have Linux Mint installed. So it takes a little moment and gets ready to fire up for the first time. And here's our login screen. So there's the administrative account that I had uh, chosen. So here, I'll go ahead and click on myself and type in a password. Now, uh, Linux Mint comes with a little welcome screen that gives a little bit of information, you know, some access to user guides. Since this is designed for people who are new to uh, Linux in general, it's designed to be very, very helpful. But here, I'll just say, don't don't show that anymore. <laughs> and we have our, uh, our desktop. So as you can see, this should be very easy for uh, Windows users. I mean, it's, it's very obvious how to get yourself on the Internet. <clears throat> In particular, Linux Mint is very helpful with, uh, say, older computers. Um, everybody probably has, you know, a couple of extra computers, some that maybe is just sitting in a closet. Not because they're physically broken in any way, but because you were running Windows, and after a while, Windows became corrupted, and now Windows doesn't work anymore. <laughs> uh, we call that bit rot, and uh, you know, it just happens in uh, Windows systems. But uh, no, no, see, this is great. Uh, oh, um, this is, by the way, where you find uh, Linux Mint. Um, here, I'll... That's the little search engine page that they have, but... If you'd like to go ahead and download Linux Mint and set it up the way you've seen me do here, um, it's just a matter of going to linuxmint.com. And see, I can go down here to the download section. And as you can see, there are different, you know, there's the Cinnamon one that I mentioned to you. Mate 64 is the one that we're looking at. Uh, the difference between 32-bit and 64, if you're curious, is uh, one is able to address more memory. So if you have 8 gigabytes of memory or more, you want to go with the 64-bit edition. You know, if it's less than that, you can probably get away with 32-bit. And, uh, oh, and, and it shows which ones uh, come with which software. These are the other ones that I mentioned to you, the XFCE and KDE desktops, and, of course, Cinnamon. Uh, and you can get it without codecs if you want to. Uh, although, personally, I find it uh, most useful to do so. All right, and so that's uh, how you install Linux Mint 15. It's very, very simple, and... Uh, and it's a great operating system. Uh, yeah, I really like this distribution of Linux Mint. Uh, in fact, I use it on a few of my own computers.